Well, this is a Heathkit IG-102. It's uh, an RF signal generator made by Heathkit, oh, I don't know, between 65 and 80. They had a, a couple of minor modifications on different versions. I believe this to be one of the later ones. Um, I've, I've taken the old um, button-type microphone connectors off and um, and I've installed modern BNC connectors so that you can utilize uh, less expensive and much easier to get BNC uh, uh, test leads and, uh, and so on. And you'll easily, more easily connect it to your equipment. Um, this RF generator is, covers 100 kilocycles to 110 megacycles and it does it in six ranges. It has both internal modulation with about a 400 hertz uh, tone and uh, or external modulation uh, and you could use an external sound source uh, oscillator or even maybe a microphone and have it turn this thing into a small radio station if you wanted. Um, does a decent job, it's relatively stable and uh, tracks the dial at roughly 2% uh, accuracy. Um, and we're going to put this thing through its tests and show it to you. We have a, a three-step attenuator, low, medium, and high, which would be uh, useful for when you're, you're tuning in uh, sensitive radios. Uh, you'd want to be able to reduce your attenuation. Plus, we also have a, um, a continuous uh, attenuator here. So you can get all your fine attenuation control in between. Uh, right now, I am on band A, which covers 100 kilocycles to 320 kilocycles. And uh, I've got the thing uh, dialed down to uh, uh, setting on the, on the 10 mark, which in this case would represent the 100 kilocycles. And the first thing I'm going to say is I've got a, uh, a frequency counter connected. We can see that that 100 kilocycles showing up as 98.2 uh, kilocycles and um, that would be uh, within the two percent that we're talking about and, and on the oscilloscope we get an idea what the waveform looks like now right now I've got the uh, internal modulator out and I'm, I'm on external and I have no signal coming in so we're just looking at the RF at the moment if I wanted I could modulate that and you can see there that we're modulating it but I'm going to go back and uh, I'm now going to dial up to mid-range which uh, as I go keep an eye on the uh, signal looking for any abnormalities and uh, mid-range in, in this case would be roughly uh, 170 kilocycles I've just dialed in to 170 and uh, there's what our signal looks like and we are getting uh, 171.5 and a minor adjustment puts us at 170. We'll give you a look at that. Just to give you an idea how close we were. It's, and as you can see, maybe we were at 170. We are just a uh, a smidge to the left of 170. Go right back onto the 170 mark again. Right there, and we're at 170.2, 171.2. Let's go ahead and go to full scale. Now, I'm actually, this particular kind of uh, RF generator uh, has no leveling, so as I'm dialing across the frequency range, you're going to see the uh, you'll see the waveform expand and contract uh, because it's more efficient at certain frequencies than it is at others. So we're going to go up right now to uh, 300 and well, let's go to 300. That would be 300 there. There's our signal, and 300 comes in at uh, 293.6. Uh, 293.6 would put us right at 2% at 300.
and then top of the range 320 and there's our waveform and we're 314.2 let's go to band B band B and we're gonna dial back Band B covers uh, 310 kilocycles to um, to 1100 kilocycles. All right, there's our waveform. There's our adjustment. We're on a 300 and uh, 310 right now, and we are getting 310.4. So we're right there. Let's go ahead and adjust this up to mid band. That'd be about uh, 550. Which would be right about there. And our waveform has uh, gotten more efficient. Let's dial down. There's a look at the waveform. Let's go ahead and expand a little. And then we take a look here. We're 551.7. So. We're at 550, getting 551.7. Nice waveform. Let's go up to the maximum, which would be uh, 1100. All right, there's 1100. There's our waveform. And we are getting 1093.4. All right, we're going to go back down scale, start again. We're going to band C. All right, band C covers one megacycle, 3.2. We are right now at, uh, at the one. There's one megacycle. There's the waveform. We are reading 988.9. Let's uh, go up to mid band, which would be about uh, 1.7 megacycles. That would be 1.7 there. There's our waveform. We're going to expand it a little. There we go. And we are reading 170, uh, 1.703 megacycles, 100 and, 1,703 kilocycles, 1.703 megacycles. And then we'll take her up full scale, uh, which would be 3.2 megacycles. And um, there we go, 3.2. There's our waveform. Make sure we got that bright enough. And then 3.197, so essentially 3.2. We're going to switch to band D, take ourselves back down again. Band D covers 3.1 to 11 megacycles. 3.1 would be right about uh, about there we've got the waveform and we are reading 3.055 going up to mid scale this would be 5.5 megacycles be right about there. There's our waveform. 5.504. And then we go up to full scale. This would be 11 megacycles. Which would be right about there. There's the 11 megacycles. 
There's our waveform. Let's give ourselves a little more expansion and fairly efficient, so I'll turn down the range. And 11 megacycles, and we're getting 10.77. Take her back down scale. We go to band E. And we are, band E runs 10 megacycles to 32 megacycles. And right now, that's our 10. There's our waveform. And we're running 9.87 megacycles. Let's take ourselves up to mid band. That should be about 17 megacycles. And that would be right about there. And we are fairly efficient. Let's turn ourselves down a little bit. Give ourselves a little more range. Go. Nice looking waveform. And that 17 megacycles is coming in at 17.086. Okay, and then we take ourselves up to 32 megacycles. And that would be right about there. waveform and we are running 31.77 let's take ourselves back down again Finally, we go to band F. Band F is our least sensitive range, uh, and, but it covers 32 megacycles to 110 megacycles. 32 would be uh, right about there. So we've got 32 dialed in on band F, which would be this innermost range. And there's our signal. We're running 31.85. And now let's take ourselves up to mid band. Mid band puts us at, um, I don't know, approximately. Uh, Let's pick six, 600, 600, that'd be 60 megacycles, sorry. 60 megacycles. And let's not overshoot it, right about there. And our waveform, drop my, and then we're reading 59.92 right now. So right on. And then finally, let's go to uh, 110. And there's our waveform. Actually a little bit efficient there. Let's turn it down and give ourselves a... Oh, let's go... Uh, Maybe times 10. Uh, let's see how I go times 10 and pull this. There we go. There's our waveform. We're at 110 megacycles and we are running 108.2 on the meter, the counter. Okay. 
And I'm going to go ahead and just adjust us back to something. Oops, we'll take our... All right, there is no modulation again. Modulated. No modulation. Modulated. So you can see our modulator is working. Here's our attenuator. That's on uh, the medium setting. And then our low setting. And we can adjust that anywhere we want. So there you have it. Now, the unit will also have an original Heathkit IG-102 assembly manual. Gives you the assembly uh, di description as well as the um, uh, theory of operation and calibration procedures. And we'll also throw in a uh, Set of gator clip test leads, coaxial type. It's a nice uh, general usage set of test leads. So the unit is very nice looking. Got a nice clean front to it. It has been repainted. There are no surface scratches. Very nice looking. I said we had the BNC connectors. Now these uh, these dial pointers are removable. I'm not I'm not all that fond of them, but since they are removable, I left them on there, and uh, and you can at your own decision uh, pop off the the knobs and pull off those pointers if you don't want them. Um, jeweled lamp works. Everything on it is in perfect shape. So it's a beautiful unit. It's uh, within calibration, it performs well. I think somebody's going to be a, a happy bidder. So good luck. Thank you for listening. And uh, we'll talk to you again. Bye.